Hello, boys and ladies and gentlemen and girls. My name is Kitsarana Mitch. The other day I brought this sign here that says debated past and Parian, and I brought it out into the real world and I asked some people to debate. And uh, the first person I met was called Chaz. So here he is, the Chasmanian Devil. Pastafarianism. Pastafarianism, yes. We believe that the creator of this universe is not, did not create us in his image, like uh, like some other religions <laughs> believe. But we believe that he is in fact uh, of a different image than us and looks more like a flying pile of spaghetti with meatballs and, and eyes. And that's what we believe. Because we don't see really any reason that the creator of the universe would look anything like what we look like. So what you're saying is the scrolls and tablets of the Hebrew mm -hmm. is just a bunch of delusional crap? I wouldn't say delusional crap any more than I would say that the uh, comic books uh, featuring Superman and Batman and the, uh, the real uh, emotional stories that they were telling were crap. They're, I wouldn't call them crap, I would just call them dated. Uh, dated, that's what I would call them. Uh, uh, I would say that uh, generally, if you look at the Old Testament, they're just pretty immoral if you judge them by our standards uh, today. And if you're trying to be more like the Old Testament, you're kind of going uh, a different way than, than we might want to. If I could show you that Christ sinned, would you, would you care? Would I'd it matter? Call, I'd call you a liar. Okay, cool. Well, I do believe that a cult is a group of people who would focus on the uh, obedience over the morality of the systems that they're perpetuating. So any cult that says obedience is the first law instead of um, um, love of your brethren or something else. If, if, if they prioritize something like obedience all the way to the top, that it will have probably crossed the line into... Uh, uh, a, uh, de a device for control instead of a device for sanctification of the people, I, I would say. That's a very good way of phrasing it. So, well, can you think of anything that Christ could have said to his mother so that she didn't have to have that 72 hours of, uh, of misery that she felt when, uh, when he left at 12? There was nothing. I mean, she was blessed amongst all women mm -hmm. but Jesus Christ himself never called her oh my holy mother until you realize that your whole nature is to do evil and you realize that there was one and only one begotten of the tribe of Benjamin immaculately conceived because it takes immaculate conception to have something that can be sacrificed for the remission of all sin. So you do believe that sin requires blood sacrifice to be uh, absolved? Not anymore because the one and only sacrifice that was worthy was the only begotten of the I am that I am, conceived in a virgin's womb. If, if, uh, if, uh, if the Eternal Father, the I am that I am, was able to conceive a child once, why is he not able to conceive a second child? There is no purpose. What do you mean? The whole point of what you hear in Genesis, mm -hmm. the old woman who was walking along and first, of course, was stressing out of the trials of life. In Genesis? Yes, in Genesis. The woman? A woman. Okay. Don't ask me chapter and verse. Oh, it's all right. I'm just trying to... And she was moving along, struggling with life, but she said, but I know my Redeemer liveth. All right. Now, in Genesis? Yes. Hello. How are you? Very good. You look very uh, spiritual. Uh, Johnny Depp. Sir. Well, a little bit. I've got a little bit of Johnny Depp. To the Caribbean. Sir, a little bit, yes. Breaking a conversation. If you'd like to uh, listen, you can. In Jesus' name I pray. That's okay. all I have to How say. Hallelujah. Thank, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Psalm 23. Cool. Uh, you can look me up on the internet. I'm so, sorry about that. Go ahead. Back to Genesis. Yeah. Righteousness and holiness, unsinfulness, 
was changed genetically to a sinful and Adam. that it Adam's and, and that is why well. everyone born of Adam and Eve right. has a sin nature. Alright. Hello. I got my bike back. Pardon? It was my bike from decades ago. I'm glad you got your bike back. Thank you. Take care. My question first is, what year did the Tower of Babel fall? The historians, they differ between 350 to 500 years ago. I mean, 500 years BC. before Christ. So 350, 500, about the same time that the pyramids were being built. Okay, that's what you wanted to... Were they taller than the pyramids? I believe some of the buildings there were extremely tall. Why are there no... Uh, remains of it? Yes. Because they built it in sand land. Okay. So the pyramids are built in sand land and they're still there. Yes, but yeah. they had a better foundation. The plan was better. Did Christ ever apologize to anyone? Why would he? Because he hurt their feelings and he lived in the same space as other people and when you do live in the same space as other people, sort of miscommunications and uh, accidents can happen. Did Christ ever apologize for any of those? There was no reason for the Son of God to apologize to anyone. And you feel like you don't have to support that claim with evidence, but the, the definition that he was perfect is enough? As the same way Lucifer was in charge of the souls of Lucifer. Samira and her coven of witches, right. so do men and women get off in a tangent and strive to write something that is contradictory to scripture and if it's contradictory to scripture it just means that other people just are more manipulated by let's go with the dark side instead of the christ light side can satan do good no can he love uh, the demons and things that he has around him, he may he demonstrate love. something like that. He might have been even been a bishop. He loved the wealth that he was gaining in his position, and he created a fairy tale about a young virgin girl who ends up That's surrendering to Lucifer, having sex with her, and as soon as it happens then, if you can see the movie or Google this concept, she starts becoming just like all the angels who fell, mm -hmm. a not a beautiful young lady, but a changed the darkness came upon her. The darkness Would you say started she was demonized. Changing. Correct. At demonized. That, at that point do you think that she was incapable of love? At that point, do you feel that because she had given herself over to the darkness that... Uh, when it comes to love, incapable is kind of out of the picture. Even the most wretched person can turn around and show love. It, well, would it be their own their decisions or would it be through the uh, grace of Christ that they would overcome? Uh, those who have not had a born-again experience Amazing grace. That, uh, that Pentecostal sweet. moment that you were that, talking about. Are you interrupting me as I say something? I, I thought you were. I, I just thought we could do it at the same time. It's all right. Okay. Go ahead. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Alright, so now as the Chasmanian Devil, we talked for a while. I didn't film it, but in the next video, we'll be uh, seeing what, what he said after the camera was off. Uh, so, hopefully you'll like and subscribe and share this with all of your Pastafarian friends, so that they can uh, uh, hear the word of his newly appendage. We'll see you soon!